Today we're going to talk about Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. What the rich teach their kids about money that the poor and middle class do not, is the subtitle of this book, which is one of the most iconic books of all time about money management. Rich Dad Poor Dad is all about achieving financial independence and how to escape the rat race from living from paycheck to paycheck. In this video I will share the 5 most valuable lessons to learn from this book with you. Go to school, get high grades and get a good job and work until you are able to retire. This is the path that most people live nowadays. However, this is not the path to go when you are aiming for financial freedom. According to Robert Kiyosaki, the education system is one of the main reasons why so many people struggle with their financial situation. This is because you learn everything about how to work for and earn money, but school teaches you nothing about money management, investing and other methods to let the money work for you. Earning more money doesn't solve the problem. A lot of people think that when they ask for a raise or having another job will solve their financial problems. However, getting more money is not enough. You need to know what to do with this money and let it work for you. In most cases, when the income goes up, the expenses are too. Robert Kiyosaki learns you everything about these subjects, so let's start with the most valuable lessons from Kiyosaki himself. The first and most important lesson is, know what an asset is, acquire them and become rich. First, what is an asset? An asset is anything of value that can be converted into cash and puts money in your wallet. Examples of assets are investments in stocks, cryptocurrencies or real estate, but also royalties or businesses that don't require your presence, such as a lot of online businesses, are examples of assets. The problem for most people is that they don't have assets but liabilities, which is something that takes money out of your pocket, like buying a car or the newest iPhone. They keep spending all their money instead of using it for assets. Like Kiyosaki said, the poor and the middle class work for money, the rich have money work for them. The point that Kiyosaki wants to make is that you can only become financially independent if you're generating multiple income generating assets which can pay for your expenses. Assets are the reason why the rich get richer, because their assets generate so much money that it covers all their expenses. A part of their income will be reinvested into new assets which increase their income even more and more and more. Thanks to the power of compounding, which Einstein himself referred as the 8th wonder of the world, their money grows even more. The second lesson is, pay yourself first. What does this mean? Well, you should first invest a certain amount of money into assets before paying your bills every month. By doing this first, you have no excuses that you are not having enough money. If you come up short, you should use this pressure to inspire you to figure out some ways to get enough money. Of course you have to pay your bills, so you shouldn't be irresponsible. Just try to pay yourself first and not last. My advice is to keep at least 10% of every income stream apart and use this for investing in assets. The third lesson, which will help you to pay yourself first, is to keep your expenses as low as possible and to reduce your liabilities. Make an overview of all your expenses and make a decision on which expenses can be reduced. Cut on your liabilities and increase your assets. You have to save money so you can keep money apart from investing in assets. I've already made a complete video on how to save money and I'll put the link into the description box down below. The fourth lesson is, the best investment is an investment in yourself. Investing in yourself is very valuable because your knowledge will take you further. You have to know a little about a lot, for example, read a lot of books, go to seminars and watch YouTube videos on subjects like investing, sales, marketing, leadership, accounting and so on. You shouldn't simply buy stocks or other investments but first invest in learning about investing. The fifth and last most valuable lesson that you can learn from this book is, work to learn, don't work to earn. 
you should find a job where you can learn more about skills like sales, marketing, accounting and the other skills that I've mentioned. This will increase your knowledge which you can use for building financial freedom. And that's it. These are the 5 most valuable lessons to take from Rich Dad Poor Dad. Of course there is a lot more information in this book, but applying these lessons will gain the chances of financial freedom a lot. If you are interested in reading the book, I'll give you a link to the Amazon store in the description box down below.